Emmy Award winning actor William H. Macy is well known for his roles in, you remember Boogie Nights? Fargo, mm -hmm. and last year, the Oscar-winning film, Room. Do you remember that, William H. Macy? I was there. But for the past <laughs> seven seasons, he's also starred as Frank Gallagher, an addict and a troublesome single dad, you could say, on Showtime's hit series, Shameless. On Sunday's episode, Frank tries to work his way back into the Gallagher household. Get out! Calm down. I have a few repairs to right. do on the house. Now that Fiona okay. has dropped the ball, someone's got to pick it up, and that someone is me. Wait, plus, my my clothes are in the wash. Yeah, to the count of three, dressed or not, Frank, one. Let's take a vote. Everyone in favor of having an actual parent in the house. Huh? Two. Oh! William H. Macy joins us at the table looking very <laughs> dapper. I saw yeah. that episode of you in the pink robe. We could say for Frank, that's almost overdressed in some yeah. of the ways that we've seen him. Yeah. You got to be brave to wear a pink robe. <laughs> he, he plays such an <laughs> unlikable, sometimes unlovable character who embarrasses, humiliates his family and himself. But I would imagine this is a fun role for you to play. Oh, my gosh, it is. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm Lutheran. I grew up in Western Maryland. I read these scripts and I go, no, are you joking? But, uh, oh, he's delicious. So much mm -hmm. fun. So wrong on so many levels. Yeah. Anyway. Mm -hmm. I mean, you, you have to love him to play him as long as you have. Well, he's a good guy. He's fun. He's hardworking. He's entrepreneurial. He loves women. Uh, he really loves women. He really loves All shapes, sizes, colors, weights. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I, yep. um, I love him for that. You have, you have two daughters. I do. Have you learned anything from Frank about fatherhood? Yes, it's our job. There's an old phrase, you prepare your children for the road, not the road for your children. So I'm um, introducing them to traumatic experiences yes, early exactly. so that they're ready. <laughs> but that's what's so fun about yeah. this show because it's really fearless in taking on topics and subjects that many shows go like this to. Right. right. Mm -hmm. As a matter of fact, the, wrong, the more wrong it is, the better. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, at its core, though, it's very moral. It's about, it's about family values. It's about this mm -hmm. family that right. lives this far from being on the street, and they get each other's back, and um, um, it's a little morality tale every, mm -hmm. every, week. every week. And you you know, like somebody's got to be the bad guy. And... Do you like how they handle sex on the show? Oh, my golly, it's so healthy. It's so good. There's a lot of it. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's sort of matter of fact, and um, yeah, I love it. I'm proud of it. And I'm very proud to be 60 something years old and carrying the um, getting laid flag for all us old Alta Cockers. <laughs> <laughs> Say that again? For all us what? Alta Cockers. Uh, yes. How so, much do you like this job, Frank? Right? <laughs> right? yes, yes. Yes. Something like that. Yeah, because you were telling, you were telling us at the table that you feel like what when you, get to, when you go to work every day? I feel like a million dollars. Oh, yeah, because no. I get to ride. I ride a motorcycle there, Seven and I know the guards, away. and in I go. Yeah. It's just the best job in the world. Plus, television is so good now. Yeah. yeah. It's the best place to be, isn't it? It's the best you place to be. You can tell stories be. better on television than anywhere else. Yep. We've got a huge audience, but you don't need to have a huge audience for television now. And I think it's good for the country. We're telling a lot of stories that otherwise wouldn't have seen the light of day. I think the phrase that you used with us earlier was that you feel like the cock of the walk. Cock of the walk, yeah. Is that good of a job? <laughs> it's a great job. I'm the and, bad guy. I'm irreverent. He's you, a liar. You're He's... strutting around a lot in your underwear. I am. I, <laughs> I am. I mean, at my age, I'm sort of. Uh, and you look good. A, a sex symbol. Uh, yeah. I was in Chicago. We were shooting there a couple of years ago, in the bar, and this really attractive woman hit on me. And did I you tell Felicity? I called her immediately. I said, <laughs> guess what happened? Felicity Huffman, yeah, your wife, what did you say? She said, I'm doing my best to share your joy. <laughs> but, but, um, this is good. How did she hit on you? What did she say? I'm curious. Uh, we're talking so about this. We're talking about this. And then she said something, in fact, you want to come to my place for a cocktail. And I, I <laughs> said, what? <laughs> I couldn't believe it. It's been Did a you long say, time. Let me, yeah, let me call my wife first. <laughs> yes. Yeah, let me call my wife Actually, first. I just said, thank you so much. No, but thank you so much. I feel so good. Yeah, because you and Felicity have been married like 20 years, right? Yeah. yeah. 
and still one very great much marriages. in love with oh, you. Yeah, I'm one of the great marriages broken. in the industry. It's good to see. Like hey, did you hear Chicago won the World Series? Oh, yeah. it, how what, about that? I know, because you, you know, were I there my, in Chicago. I was there. Yeah. I started my career in Chicago. I had a house across from Wrigley Field. I was a bleacher bum. Oh, wow. wow. Couldn't have been better. So you were in the city the actual night, though. Tell us about that. Yes. For, from your perspective. Oh, I had a. We did this scene where I walked across the street and into this bar. And of course, when they recognized Frank Gallagher in the bar, they said, "You want a little something?" I said, "Well, if there's a little glass of scotch on the bar." I, mean, I kept telling John Wells, "Can I get one more take?" <laughs> <laughs> so uh, they were ahead six-one when I rapped, and I walked into the hotel, and everybody was watching. And boom! All of a sudden, it's even, and I felt. Like it was my fault, so I went to bed. Uh, but then all hell broke loose. You could hear the noise outside? Oh, yeah. man. There was a guy scene. outside my window. He screamed for four hours. Good. Well, we're screaming for Shameless. Yes, Continued we are. Continued success. Congratulations. He'd had a long time Thank to practice. Thank you so much. I love doing it. Yeah. Shameless Air Sundays on Showtime, a division of CBS.